feature importance is a pretty way to explain a built machine learning model and today we are going to mention how to find the feature importance values for a built decision tree we are going to build a decision tree for this data set and then we will evaluate the feature importance values of features let's read the data set first i'm going to import pandas to read the data set pandas has a read csv function and here we are going to pass the data set and this is going to be our data frame let's see the data frame there are 14 instances and it stores golf playing decision based on some features outlook temperature humidity and wind i'm going to build decision trees with chef boost framework uh, you can import it from chef boost import chef boost and i'm going to define its alias as chef if you haven't installed the chef boost framework then you can call pip install chef boost by the way chef boost framework has a fit function to build decision trees we are going to pass the data frame here and we are going to also pass a configuration file here it's going to be a dictionary and in the configuration i'm going to define the algorithm i would like to build the decision trees we can for example build id3 decision trees and this is going to be the tree fit command creates an outputs folder in the same directory of the program you are running and under the outputs we have rules folder and under it we have rules.py this is the build decision tree actually and we are going to evaluate the feature importance values based on this build tree i copied the build decision tree here and it's in root node uh, we will check outlook feature and it has three different classes rain sunny and overcast if outlook is equal to rain then we are going to check wine feature and it has two classes weekend strong if outlook is equal to sunny then we are going to check the humidity feature and it has two classes as well high and normal and finally outlook is equal to overcast then the decision will be yes in every level the feature having the highest information gain will be the decision rule for example in the root node outlook has the highest information gain and uh, for rain outlook features wind has the highest information gain in the root node there are 14 instances but if outlook is rain uh, there would be five instances as seen here we are going to calculate the number of instances times entropy value of a feature to find the feature importance for example a feature importance value of the outlook is going to be 14 times 0 0.94 similarly uh, the feature importance value of the wind feature is going to be five times 0 0.97 and humidity feature is going to be five times 0 0.97 as well then we will subtract the feature importance values of its child nodes here a uh, wind and humidity uh, decision rules uh, don't have any child nodes uh, they directly returns to decisions as seen here however a uh, outlook feature has a uh, wind feature and humidity feature decision rules as its child node that's why we are going to subtract its number of instance times entropy values that's going to be the feature importance values of each feature let's see the results by the way uh, as seen there is no decision rule for the temperature that's why i'm going to initialize it as zero 
around here. We are going to print the feature importance value of the temperature feature. Those are the uh, feature importance values as seen. Uh, the wind and humidity uh, has same score and uh, they are greater than the outlook. We can actually normalize those values. Total value is going to be the sum of those feature importance values. And this is going to be total. And here we are going to divide it to total. And actually we should multiply them to 100. Uh, to sum up, the both wind and humidity features have 36% and outlook feature has 26% importance. So we have mentioned how to calculate the feature importance values for a built decision tree. Uh, it's mainly based on uh, the number of instances affected for a decision rule times its entropy value. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.